hot cocoa by the fire, decorating a gingerbread house, and making grandma's famous Christmas cookies. Climate change could be putting all of your favorite traditions at risk. Think about all your holiday recipes and how many of them depend on things like cocoa bean, uh, sugar, coffee, and even spices like cinnamon and vanilla. A lot of these are grown in the tropics. These crops have a very skinny window of what their tolerance is. Some of these areas are already facing hardships because of climate change, and it's making commercial production very difficult. Let's start with cocoa beans, which are already feeling the heat. Cocoa is grown in West Africa, and we're seeing more extreme heat days in this region, and that's impacting the crop because it's too hot, basically. The crop doesn't like it. Droughts are becoming more intense as well. It's basically all supply and demand. If chocolate has a bad year, you will see a spike in chocolate prices. And sugar isn't safe either. The sugar crop likes conditions just right. If you get too much rain, it's a bad thing. If you get too little rain, it's a bad thing as well. They also don't like too much heat. We're going to see flooding conditions. That's going to introduce fungus and pests, drought conditions. The crop isn't going to do well at all. Vanilla, cinnamon, that's more Southeast Asia, Indonesia, places like that. Because we rely on just a handful of islands to produce basically our world's cinnamon, it is extremely vulnerable. These are also places that are facing climate extremes. Preserving these ingredients isn't just about the food. It's about preserving the flavors that make our holidays feel like home. We are on the brink of a lot of climate tipping points, but I think as far as these farmers go and some of these key ingredients that we see during the holiday season, we're already there.